At Optavia, our mission is to offer the world lifelong transformation, one healthy habit at a time. The following audio contains the personal testimonials of independent coaches and clients within the Optavia community. Their results are based on the unique experiences of their journey. We cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. We hope these stories inspire you to continue your journey with or join Optavia, but please note they have not been verified and your individual journey to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you speak with a healthcare provider in the U.S. or a doctor in Singapore and Hong Kong prior to beginning your journey with Optavia. Additionally, this audio may contain income or earning representations of some independent Optavia coaches. We cannot guarantee financial success. Success with Optavia is derived from successful sales efforts, which require hard work, diligence, skill, persistence, competence, and leadership. Optavia acknowledges that this audio may be accessible to Optavia coaches in the U.S., Hong Kong, and Singapore. For independent Optavia coaches operating in the U.S., please see the Optavia income disclosure statement for statistics on actual earnings of U.S. coaches under the U.S. compensation plan. Please note that the income disclosure statement only applies to independent Optavia coaches operating in the U.S. under the U.S. compensation plan and does not in any way constitute any representations as to actual or potential accrual of benefits for Hong Kong or Singapore coaches under the International Compensation Plan. Yours in Health, the Optavia team. Welcome, everybody. And uh, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Dr. J.C. Dornick. Um, I am a certified independent Optavia coach. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about me, but um, welcome to the Habits of Health community time, you know. Um, very, very special night. We're going to be uh, going over element 25, habits of longevity. And there's uh, some interesting things about this, and we're going to bring that out. And just as a reminder, um, this, is, this is a journey. We're all on this journey, and uh, we're all in different phases of it. So someone here might be, you know, a brand new client watching this as their first exposure to the life book. Um, some of you might have been following along the whole time and, uh, you know, going through the habits of health and, and the, the transformation system and the life book, and you might now be on 25. And for, for all of you that have already gone through all of the elements, wow, you are now in a totally different reality, you know, and, and I know how you feel. You know, I've been through the life book many, many times. Um, but this one's really, really special, and I'll, I'll, I'll share a couple nuggets about why. Um, but this is a journey. And that's me. Uh, like I said, my name is Dr. JC Dornick. Um, my, my journey um, began like most of us about 14 years ago, and it was a weight loss journey for me. And I'm not going to go too far into my story, um, but I want to bring something up that's really fascinating about our journeys and stuff. Because when I started this, um, all I thought was that I needed to lose weight. I didn't look, I didn't know about the Habits of Health Transformation System. In fact, back then, Dr. A was talking about these things. So we're in such a great position right now because we have this whole system. Um, but I'm constantly, I'm just, I feel so blessed. I mean, I, I, I lost the weight and I've just changed every, every aspect of my life. And I, you know, I'm just, I've transformed. You know, you're meeting someone in their polished state right now, um, transformed the way I look at the world, the tr transform the way I respond to adversity. Um, but I'm constantly asking, and this is what's relevant about this, uh, this element tonight. I'm constantly asking myself, what is it that Optavia has done for you? Like, what is the resounding blessing that Optavia has given you, JC? Um, and, and what it has done is it's given me consciousness. Um, I've always known what consciousness is, but I never understood how powerful it was. And what I mean by that is I'm just more aware and mindful of things that I didn't used to know. You know, I remember um, Dr. A said in, in one of his amazing ways um, that, you know, JC, you never woke up and made a conscious decision to get overweight, did you? And I said, of course not. He says, well, why did you? And I said, you know, that's a good question. But what I started to realize and fall in love with about Optavia was I started to become aware and conscious of other things. And I can tell you something, when I went on this program, I wanted to get healthy. I wanted to feel better. I wanted to be a better father and all these things, but I didn't know how powerful it was what I was doing. And what we're gonna talk about now is extending this experience we call life, right? But not just extending it, but extending quality years onto our life. 
So I'm very excited about this. Um, so I'm just going to have a quick poll, um, which answers, you know, uh, best describes you right now. If you could just click in there just so we can get a read of our population because it's so big. There's thousands of you on here right now. Um, so which answers best? You know, are you a, a guest, an Optivia client? Are you a client in Hong Kong and Singapore? Hello, we're on the other side of the world right now. So hello to all of our brothers and sisters getting healthy over on the other side of the planet from where I am, an independent coach or an independent coach from Hong Kong or Singapore. So don't forget our Habits of Health Transformation System. You know, I've got them right here as props. Here's my life book. I've got my Habits of Health, uh, you know, book here. And obviously I've got my app. Um, amazing tools. Like I said, when I first started, these were things we used to speak about, but now you have them all there. So what we're going to discuss tonight in Element 25 is we're going to go over the mindset component of becoming awakened to the habits of longevity, just becoming aware of what it is that leverages longevity on um, the skill sets. You know, we're going to learn strategies from Dr. Ray's longevity plan. Super cool. Um, and then the action, you know, devise an action plan. And, you know, timestamp, we're in December coming into the end of the year. Um, and I know a lot of people will be watching this for years to come as a, as a recording, but I just think it's fitting that we're going over this element um, as we're getting ready for this concept of the turn of the year and, and New Year's resolution. So we're going to come up with an action plan. Um, so here's a great quote from Dr. A. Everything he says always, you know, resonates deep. Even if we do unravel the secret of aging in our genes, there's one thing that's absolutely certain. Here's just the logic behind this, folks. If applied consistently, a lifestyle based on the habits of health, not the habits of disease, can help extend your life. You know, a lot of people ask me, you know, what's the science behind that? And I said, well, just think about it. If you practice with consistency the habits of health, you're leveraging the odds of that happening. And I just love that. So um, one thing before I show you this, because you're going to look at this, this is our little companion that takes us through the, the life book and the habits of health. But I was looking at my book in preparation from this. So in my habits of health book, um, and I don't know if you can see this, but um, the correlating part in the habits of health book for the life book element 25 um, is part three. And I was looking and I was reading part 3.2 and it says the habits of longevity, and then it talks about going into ultra health, right? And I just ironically noticed that my picture is right there. I mean, that is just completely ironic because I just I just drew this habit, uh, this element just completely randomly. So anyway, I like to look at weird things like that. So yeah, that's that's my, I think it's a, I don't remember the page, but right before 3.2. So let's look at this right here because, you know, in the beginning, you know, the, the, the balance of, of, of energy in and energy out is off. And that's why we have that overweight, that abdom, abdom, abdominal fat law, uh, gain. So what we do is we switch it off in phase one, phase two, but we're talking about longevity. And what's interesting about longevity, if you read the book, um, you know, there's some interesting research. I think the book, uh, it was called the longevity diet that Dr. Ray refers by uh, Walter Longo. And he's talking about, you know, longevity after, after you lose that weight, longevity is about decreasing that input of energy, like actually recognizing that we just simply eat too much, whether you're eating healthy or not, as a society, we're eating too much. So decreasing that energy input, and also not having to kill ourselves in the gym, that's where longevity comes. Now, if you look at what everybody's getting ready to do um, for the new year resolution, that's not what they're gonna do. So I love, as we go along here, I love the fact that we're going to be taking a look at things that extend our life, right? The actual research and the science behind life extension, right? And you're gonna just constantly be reminded, well, Phase one, I did lose my abdominal fat, right? And then I started to, you know, focus on the education and the components of weight loss, equilibration, um, optimization. And now as I'm focusing now on longevity, you know, where are you at? I mean, 
my, like I told you, my weight loss started 14 years ago. So it's been a long time since I've been focused on, on weight loss. So now I'm focused on longevity. I love this. And I love this little companion that, that we take around with us. Um, so the first principle of longevity is really simple. You know, if you look at these two stick figures, one of them is not a stick figure, um, but a healthy weight and an active individual is just simply going to live longer than somebody that's overweight and sedentary. I mean, it's just a simple, logical approach. So when I first started this, I was the guy on the right. So I never really understood because I was younger at that time that I was shortening my life, but I kind of knew it and I was kind of afraid of it. And I know a lot of you here have unfortunately lost loved ones to this you know, epidemic that we have. So that's just a simple, simple thing. A healthy weight and an active, active life is going to help you. So when we look at the blue zones, I was so fascinated with this because Dr. Ray in, in the book, he never talks about hypotheticals. He does the research. And um, you know, when you look at this, this, these so-called blue zones, basically these are lessons that we learn about living longer from the actual people in our world that live the longest. Right? So when you look at the, the blue zones, it's really cool to notice all these different things that people are doing to extend their life. So where you want to be is in the middle. And I want you to just kind of step back and look at that and resonate with it. Because a lot of you, especially those of you that have already been through elements one through 24, and let's have a shout out to all of those things, you know, um, great time right now to tell me what's your favorite um, What's your favorite uh, element? I mean, I know a lot of people uh, <laughs> look at that. Um, but look in the middle there. Here are the primary things that extend our life. Family, no smoking. Hey, listen, quit the smoking right now, right? Quit the smoking, lose the weight. Family though, right? Family, super important to have family. Plant-based diet, sound familiar? Physical activity. Now, remember something, we live in a world where physical activity is associated with weight loss. We're talking about extending our life right now. It's a different use of physical activity. Um, social engagement and vegetables, legumes, right? So very, very cool to say, hey, while I'm on this program, I'm not only practicing a lot of these things with my eating or as we, as we say fueling, but as I get into the life book, I'm learning how to apply all of these things in my life. Hey, you know what? I'm starting to leverage the idea of me living longer. So what I want to do now is I want to bring a very special um, human in onto this. He's a great, great friend of mine, also an independent certified opt to be a coach. His name's Howie Craw. And um, I asked Howie to come um, because he's a great friend of mine and he's just been so well, not only on program, um, but with, with all of the components. He's been through them all. He's an amazing individual. And I asked him to come share his perspective on Element 25. So Howie, are you there? I am here, JC. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate the opportunity and uh, to be part of uh, Optavia family. You know, I, I had known about Optavia for a while. My sister Shelly, she's crushed this. She's done really well with it. And it was really in the beginning of the year towards the pandemic that I wanted to get healthier. And somebody who has a background in endurance sports, marathon training, triathlon training, competing, I always carried that extra weight. And although I was healthy, I was vegan. I mean, my daughter's vegan. She told me to be vegan. So I became vegan. And I didn't lose the weight though. And it was a little complicated at times keeping perfect on a diet or a program. And when I got introduced to Optavia and I decided to go on the program, the ease of it, the simplicity, the goof-proof nature of being able to follow a time-tested winning formula was incredible for me. So I did that and I was able to achieve my goals in a, in a period of time that was really satisfying for me without having to add 20 hours a week of exercise. So I was like, hmm, I'd like to share this with people because I stand for health and wellness and I'm all about living 
a longer, healthier life. Now, JC, I'm going to come clean on something here that I never like to talk about. But when you met me and I told you I was a little north of 60, you were like, you should be so proud of that. That's incredible. You don't look it. You don't act it. I got to tell you something. The energy from better sleep, drinking more water, following these elements and the habits of health have now made me feel at 63, younger than I have felt in so it's such a long time. And when I look at peers and friends and people my age, they're having trouble going upstairs. They forget about running a marathon, forget about hiking the Grand Canyon, um, which I just did, which was amazing. And I have to tell you, it was my second time doing that hike, but I went in lighter. It was much easier. The conditions were a little bit different too, but not carrying that extra weight and, and being rested and just ready for the challenges, it makes me feel that I can be doing this for decades to come. So when I see people 60 plus, that everybody's 60 is the new 50 or 50 is the new 40, whatever it is, take control of what you're doing to yourself. And this program offers a goof-proof fueling system. It offers camaraderie and coaching and community that's second to none. And then when you throw in Dr. A's life book and habits of health, it is just a recipe for success that JC, we're going to be doing this for decades together because longevity is a reward of the, of the, just this incredible program that we have. Fantastic, my friend. And I have to admit, I thought you were about to tell me you lied about being 63, that you were actually going to tell me you're like 70. And then I was going to say, whoa. No, you, you so do much. that to me all the time. You tell me I look good for 80. You know? Oh, unbelievable. And you know what? Um, you know, there's not a lot of people that are 63 that I say, I hope I look like that guy when I'm, when I'm that young. So thanks so much, Howie. That was fantastic. So, you know, I, I love this. You know, one of the things that Dr. A is uh, very, very passionate about is just kind of, he's a historian of, of health. You know, he's one of the first uh, 10 board certified critical care physicians. So Dr. Ray knows a lot about the history of medicine. So if you look at it, we're kind of in this third era of medicine, you know? It started off where we used to battle infectious disease, you know, just the treatment, the reactive treatment, and then degenerative disease, right? So these are, the, these are kind of historical ways that we used to approach quote unquote health. But, you know, as Dr. A says that while he was doing surgery and everything, he never created health. And I got to say, as a chiropractor, we used to talk about preventative medicine, preventative health care, but we never talked about creation. And I love that we're in the third era of medicine right now where we're actually not just patching things up. With this program, this comprehensive system, we're creating a new reality. So we're taking control of that creation. We're holding the pen. So let's look at Dr. Ray's longevity plan as we come to the end of this. So first of all, here's what he says to do. Step one, numero uno, right now, eliminate tobacco and recreational drugs. Um, my only advice with that is Identify right now what it is that you want and what matters most to you. And just tell me how tobacco and recreational drugs support that, right? And don't you dare say fun. <laughs> Get rid of that right now. Wear your seatbelt. What a simple thing he says. Wear your seatbelt, you know, just practice some of these things. Maybe you're a great driver, but maybe somebody else isn't. Limit alcohol intake, right? drive at the speed limit. You know, it's interesting when, when I never evaluated those things in my environment that I took for granted, you know, when we're looking at extending our life, it's not just about losing weight and nourishing our body, getting healthy. It's also about, you know, being a, a good citizen and taking care of these things. 
So drive at the speed limit, avoid sunburn at all costs. This is a big one, right? We always have to be real careful with this. And Dr. Ray's big on that. So let's look at step two, create a healthy environment, eliminate toxic foods. Now, some of you need to identify what toxic foods are, and that's what the life book and the habits of health system and your coach and this whole system will teach you. Um, ensure that your water and air are clean, right? Just, we're just awakening you. We're just giving you some thought right now to become mindful of these. Lock all doors when home, check your smoke detectors, make sure that they're working. You know, this is your game plan. Um, a lot of people are setting their goals for uh, the next year and they're just saying, I wanna just get healthy and make a lot of money or get a new job, you know? Dr. Ray's just making you aware of some simple things that we sometimes say, yeah, 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 I'll do that, but we got to. Eliminate potential hazards that could cause falls, right? I know this is a big one for my, my parents. Um, there's so many different variables there. So step three, get a checkup. You know, there's so many different things that we can say about that, but don't do this on your own. Let somebody that knows how to check things that you don't understand how to check, have a look at you, right? Get your baselines, right? Have, a, have you know, screenings and things like that. Test your, uh, test your sensory systems, all of these things. Very, very important, get that checkup. And it's probably gonna be telehealth timestamp. Um, go to your dentist. You know, a lot of people think that this, this is just a vanity thing. Um, it's not. You know, this is not a luxury. This is a necessity. Floss daily. I know that this is something that I didn't used to take seriously. Um, but when I used to go on a run with my health, I used to take that, you know, things like not texting when I was on the uh, driving or flossing my teeth. And I would add them into my all in goal for my health, not just going on the five and one. So I used to do that floss daily. If you're going to chew gum, chew sugar-free gum, have your teeth cleaned two times a year by a professional, use lip balm. There's a simple one that contains sunscreen. You know, a lot of times that we, we you know, we think that it's only when we're in the bright sun in the uh, Caribbean. No, the sun's always there. So don't use tobacco products. Obviously, he said that one again. So here are your final steps. So final step five, reach and maintain your healthy weight. Okay, so for all of you that are on our program, um, you know, there's so much information on what that healthy weight is. Um, it's your decision, but there are so many measurements and parameters and you can talk that over with your coach. But this says reach and maintain a healthy weight. You know, I reached my healthy weight almost 14 years ago. And I can tell you something, it keeps getting better. It just keeps getting better and better. So step six, incorporate all the habits of health. So what's interesting about that is we're talking about element 25 right now, um, but there's so many other ones, you know, and there's sometimes we zero in on them and, and we, we focus more on one than the other, but they really are all important. And there's never gonna be a time where we're gonna be done. You know, um, I can tell you 14 years in advance to the person that's just starting their journey, I'm working on this all the time. And, it's, and it, I still have some of my old, you know, programming and habits still rear up. So I use the system, I stop, challenge, and choose, but I'm constantly working on these things. And what's interesting about Dr. Ray's system is for those of you on program and you practice habits of health for, say, 30 days, they start to become habitual. And they start to become something that you you recall. Hey, yeah, this is what I do now. But when you do it for, you know, I think he says 66 days and up, depending on the degree of difficulty, what you want to do is take those unconscious, unhealthy habits. I like to say to that new client, hey, forgive yourself for you know not what you do. And imagine a world after we practice all these healthy habits one day where you're unconsciously living healthy. And by the way, I think the true degree of, and measurement of health is how we handle adversity, right? When we become health conscious. And that's not just on the scale. So incorporate all those. And then also obtain optimal health, right? It doesn't stop after weight loss and after health. You know, I love the fact that the next element is going to be all about ultra ultra health. And that's what I'm seeking right now. So as we come to an end, um, and we're going to be turning over after this to uh, some just super inspirational stories of transformation. 
I just want to remind you, we just laid down the foundation for longevity and extending our life. Um, and you're looking at the six macro habits of health right now. And then remember, we have our four components. If you really break them down, healthy weight, healthy eating, healthy motion, healthy surroundings, healthy mind. You know, I love to say on a healthy body, rest a healthy mind, healthy sleep and energy management. And then we have the four components. If you look at that and say, hey, wait a second, I'm not just losing weight. I'm not just creating health. After I just went through element 25 and learned about extending my years, extending the quality of my life, you know what, come to think of it, I'm leveraging that by being on this program. Now I can promise you from a transparent place, when I started this, I thought it was a diet because all I saw in the mirror was that I needed to lose weight. I had no idea what was coming. So I, I worked the program and I, work, I get fully integrated into the program, speaking to my coach, all four components. And I went through and I devoured the Habits of Health system. And I started to awaken to the fact that I was creating a new reality for myself. And that is exciting. So, so much fun to be here, but I would like to take a poll right now um, as we come to a close. So which steps for you are the most interesting in completing. Now, when I say the most interesting, and as you can see them right now, you can just look at that and say, which ones are the ones that matter most? You know, when we wake up, we want all these things, but which ones matter most? And I'd love you to fill this out right now because we're going to wait a little bit and we're going to get the polls and I'll tell you what it is that the findings show. So get that done. Great. Um, and then the next one is, as we look, and I love this picture, um, what action are you going to take as a result of this element? So you just learned all this great stuff, you know. Um, we, have, we live in a society where people think when they learn something, that means that it happens, you know. Learning and becoming aware and mindful of something is just the first step. What comes after that is this idea of putting it into action, right? So my question to you right now, this is your opportunity. And by the way, you can start off with whatever it is that you want to start. This is your journey, you know, creating habits, uh, creating um, health and longevity, one health, habit of health at a time, one little health, health uh, habit, habit of health at a time. So what action are you going to take as a result of this element? So if I can have those results from the last one, when they're ready, I will read them to you. Oh, here they are. Okay, so the biggest one I don't know which one, if you want to take a guess, which one do you think it was? So it's stop smoking, creating a healthy environment, get a yearly checkup, go to your dentist, reach and maintain a healthy weight, incorporate all habits of health and obtain optimal health. Which one was the biggest? Well, it's got a red color to it and it was reach and maintain your healthy weight. And don't we have an amazing program that handles that? And just, just so you know, um, second to that was incorporate all the habits of health. That's a great sign that everybody's kind of following that. Um, the third one was obtain optimal health. And I think that the, the, the smallest one, the last one, only 4% of you uh, chose stop smoking. So I'm just gonna assume that's because very, very few people um, in this group that have made that conscious decision to um, be healthy have stopped that. So awesome, thanks for participating. Um, how did you enjoy this? Now don't, you don't have to compliment or, or, or poll me, but how did you enjoy this? Last poll here, um, was, this, was this something that was beneficial for you? Um, I love the fact that we, we have the ability to read the uh, Habits of Health Transformation System, but then we also have these videos and we love showing these videos. All of our clients devour these videos. You know, it's like taking that habit. I love reading them. Um, and habit uh, element 25 is pretty short, but I love reading them. But then I love um, watching these videos and hearing somebody unpack and uh, explain it. So please take this poll and let us know what you thought about that. And just as a quick reminder, if you go to YouTube and you search Optavia, all of these are recorded and that's where you can find them. And also, if you want a quick reminder, because remember, we live in a crazy world and we forget things all the time, um, take advantage of our automatic texts that remind you of these things. So text Optavia 30 
to 99000. Hey, it's been my honor and privilege to be here. And remember, next week, we're going to have for our Habits of Health community time a super cool thing to do at this time of the year, and that is to create a vision board, right? We're going to actually make one of those vision boards, and you don't want to miss that with Donnie. At Optavia, our mission is to offer the world lifelong transformation, one healthy habit at a time. The prior audio contained the personal testimonials of independent coaches and clients within the Optavia community. Their results are based on the unique experiences of their journey. We cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. We hope those stories inspire you to continue your journey with or to consider joining Optavia. But please note that they have not been verified and your individual journey to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you speak with a healthcare provider in the U.S. or a doctor in Singapore and Hong Kong prior to beginning your journey with Optavia. Additionally, this audio may have contained income or earning representations of some independent Optavia coaches. We cannot guarantee financial success. Success with Optavia is derived from successful sales efforts, which require hard work, diligence, skill, persistence, competence, and leadership. Optavia acknowledges that this audio may be accessible to Optavia coaches in the U.S., Hong Kong, and Singapore. For independent Optavia coaches operating in the U.S., please see the Optavia Income Disclosure Statement for statistics on actual earnings of U.S. coaches under the U.S. Compensation Plan. Please note that the Income Disclosure Statement only applies to independent Optavia coaches operating in the U.S. under the U.S. Compensation Plan and does not in any way constitute any representations as to actual or potential approval of benefits for Hong Kong or Singapore coaches under the International Compensation Plan. Yours in health, the Octavia team.